Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jeff. Today we're going to talk about um, volcanic smog, VOG. Um, I've actually got quite a few uh, requests from people asking, um, asking me to make a video about volcanic smog. So, I'll be honest, I don't know enough about volcanic smog because the research that I've done is inconclusive and um, a lot of it's theory and no one knows what the long-term effects are. There are, there are a lot of studies being done. Um, but I can tell you about my experience with VOG and then I'll tell you about some of the things that the research has concluded or come to, brought up. So here in Kona, um, you can tell if there's VOG or not by looking at Hawaii and down just basically towards Mauna Loa or down towards Kealakekua. You can't see Mauna Loa from most parts in Kona, but um, you can tell in the air there's this haze or this mist. That is not air pollution from cars as much as it is really from the volcano. Okay, so the volcano Kilauea has two active vents currently here in um, November of 2016. Mau and um, Pu'u'o'o. Those are the two active vents here in um, on the Big Island. Um, when when both are going at the same time, both kind of steaming or Pele breathing, so to speak, the volcano is emitting um, or degassing, which is emitting the gas into the air, the sulfur, sulfuric acid. Um, that's gonna just create so much more vog in the air that it's obviously going to um, become more of an issue for people with breathing problems. Some of the symptoms that come up are uh, nasal congestion, That I get that. Uh, you get headaches, um, people have complained of asthma, they, they say younger people and the elderly are really susceptible to it. So here in Kona, yes, we do get VOG. In Hilo, being downwind, Pahoa, downwind of the volcano, they get VOG too. The only place you're really away out of the VOG is if you're the farther north you go. Because what the what it, what happens is the big volcano, the two extinct volcanoes, Mauna Loa, Mauna Kea, and then you got Hawaii and Kohala, basically create enough air pressure to push it south, and then once it goes out over the ocean, it comes back up. Maui is virtually clear of VOG. Oahu does get VOG. I think what last year they or in 2014 they had um, like two months of VOG or 30 days of VOG or sometimes they get even more than that and so yet again even when you're in Oahu you can tell it's a VOGy day when there's haze in the air it's not it, it's it's clear enough it's it's obvious enough to know the difference between haze and not haze meaning you can tell if it's VOGy or if it's not VOG so if it's if there's a, if there's Haze in the air, that's that's VOG, mixed in in Honolulu with, uh, you know, environmental pollutants such as uh, CO2 emissions from the cars. Uh, just to comment about Kona in particular, because Kona is fairly well known for getting VOG. It's, uh, it's pretty much every day right now. So, one big symptom that I think people will agree on is it makes you tired and lethargic really tired that's probably my biggest complaint about volcano smog is always feeling tired and if it wasn't for um, the volcano I'd be like what is going on here why am I always tired but we know that it's from the the volcanic smog so slow getting up in the morning you know kind of groggy and uh, that's from the VOG it, it it's been going the Pu'u'o vent has been going strong since uh, May and obviously Howley Mau Mau has been active since uh, 1987 so VOG in Hawaii really really tough thing to deal with in Kona and Hilo it's a lot better up in Waikoloa but still they get it and obviously the farther north you go Waimea you're, um, Hamakua you know you're, you're gonna be a lot better off without the VOG now Maui safe Oahu, Kauai, they get some of the fallout as it's pushed over the ocean. So, like I said, I mean, I'm making this video to kind of address the, 
the concerns about vlog because there is some it's real it does exist it is it is a health hazard there's not enough studies done conclusive studies done to say what the long-term effects of vlog are but uh nasal congestion and um lethargic lazy it'll affect your energy levels based on my opinion people said they get headaches asthma as i mentioned so i'm going to go ahead and end this video here if you have any more questions about vlog um you can, you can continue to do your own research uh, i think the uh manila does some research if you want to have if you want to continue on the conversations and watch my videos you can subscribe to this channel see ya